How's it going, you guys? So, New Balance's high cushioned trail shoe, the Hiero, gets an updated upper with the Gore Tex version. Will that, paired with a Fresh Foam X midsole and V Rum Rubber outsole, make this shoe the ultimate winter running shoe? Well, let's dive into my full review. So the main thing that makes the Hiero V5 GTX or Gore-Tex different from the regular V5 is, of course, the Gore-Tex upper. So let's talk about that. The Gore-Tex material makes this shoe waterproof. The Gore-Tex material is designed to repel and keep water out of the shoe, keeping your feet dry. I found this to be awesome running in the winter with snowy climates. I could run through puddles and slush or deep snow and my feet stayed warm and dry. One thing that had me a little confused with this shoe is the tongue. So there's two parts, there's like the actual tongue and then there's like a little cover of the upper material and I just wasn't quite sure the purpose of this. Was it supposed to act as kind of a lace garage? Is it supposed to help protect your foot from the elements? Like. Just not quite sure how to tie my laces around it, and I didn't think it was necessary. Another nitpicky thing about the upper were the laces. There's a few eyelets towards the top, and I thought those were way too small for the laces to fit through, so it could be really hard to lace and unlace the shoe to get your foot in and out. This may change in the final version that's released to the public, but I definitely wasn't a fan of how hard that was. All right, so we've got that waterproof upper, keeps your feet dry no matter what. Now let's talk about that Fresh Foamex midsole. So the Hiero is almost like the 1080 of the trail as it's known for its cushion. From the V4 to the V5, the Fresh Foam Hiero now has the Fresh Foam X midsole, which I found to be softer than the last version and it allowed me to roll over rocks and it kept my feet happy after long distances. So while this is a very comfortable shoe, it is also a very heavy shoe. At almost 11 and a half ounces, this thing is not light. When climbing up steep ascents, it's nice having a shoe that you don't have to put in a ton of effort to lift up. This unfortunately is not that shoe. I was definitely getting an extra workout while going uphill trying to drive my knees with these heavy things on my feet. So this is a trail shoe. That means that the outsole is very important for keeping your grip on dirt. So let's dive into that. So the last year's version, the Hero 4, had a nice outsole, but it wasn't the most aggressive. V5 adds a more teethy texture that I found to work better going downhill or on loose dirt. But even though it has a grippier outsole, it still isn't the best for deep mud. It seemed to collect the mud rather than shed it. So in conclusion, I thought the Hero V5 Gore-Tex was an amazing trail shoe if you live in snowy or wet climates. It really excelled in those snowy and slushy conditions where it was able to keep my feet dry when they normally would have been soaked and freezing. I did really enjoy that Fresh Foam X midsole. It was very comfortable even over long distances. The outsole worked well on hard packed snow and dirt, but besides that, I'm not quite sure what trail conditions this shoe would excel at. It's definitely not nimble. It is very heavy. It's comfortable, but not necessarily my favorite ride. I'd honestly use this as a hiking shoe or a shoe for those days when it's awful snowy weather or very wet, but I definitely prefer something like my Cascadia for an everyday trail running shoe. So I may have sounded a bit harsh in this review, but the shoe was honestly decent overall. It's just maybe not my first pick as an everyday trainer for all conditions, especially in hot summer days. So thanks for watching this video, you guys. I have more shoe reviews on the way. Subscribe so you don't miss those. And as always, keep on running.